Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the 100 Duplicant Challenge. In the previous episode we visited the second planetoid for the first time and I sent 11 Builder over in order to establish some kind of an infrastructure. We're almost done with the first few buildings, we have 15,000 kilocalories here, so we will survive for a couple of cycles and just inhale the polluted oxygen. I will then be gathering all the liquid somewhere here at the bottom and at the same time we now have access to oil. This oil is probably gonna last us for the rest of the challenge, we just need a little bit in order to create plastics. Now one of our next goals is gonna be to dig into here and actually go ahead activate the teleporter. I also need to find the other teleporter which might be over here or here in the fog of war. I kind of want to open this up and then make my way up here at this point and I'm gonna do that all the way almost to the top just revealing some of the terrain and draining the polluted water there. In the meantime on the main planetoid we have a little bit of hydrogen that we expelled towards the top and it is now time to kind of take care of that because it is just accumulating otherwise and of course these duplicants will have to sleep in hydrogen not very comfortable. So I think what I want to do is set up another gas reservoir here and all I want to do is set up a gas pipe element sensor maybe Hmm. Actually, we'll have to expand this a little bit. So let's pop this all the way towards the top and then we'll add the sensor right there. And this way we will be able to expel the oxygen while the hydrogen is continuing. And it would be continuing all the way to here. And of course, we just have to make sure that this never reaches maximum gas pressure. From the gas tank, I can then bring this all the way up. And I think what I want to do is go beneath here and then utilize this part in order to go all the way up to the metal refinery. Actually, how many more bedrooms do I need? I have 16 beds in here. Yeah, you know, we don't need that many more beds. Maybe this is going to be the last layer here. So in this case, I think I'm just going to set up some hydrogen generators here and there together with a smart battery in the center. We'll add some conductive wire and just hook this up to the metal refinery. All that's left to do is hook this up to some automation wire like so and then we can let this get built. The cooking at the moment is still a little bit thin. I do get some starving duplicants occasionally. You wanted me to exchange the switches here with some timers. I can certainly do that. We have some uh, cycle sensors for instance that we could set up here and this way we can activate each incubator just for a little while without actually having to tend to it. When it comes to the Somnium Synthesizer, I think I have to add some more duplicants that will help out. I cannot constantly keep up the buff, but I think with uh, two more duplicants, we should easily be able to do it. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, now I have the space for a gas element sensor. And what we want to do is detect hydrogen and therefore allow it through. If we want to keep this easy and without a knot gate, and because we know that only oxygen and hydrogen are ever going to flow through this pipe, if everything goes normally, we're gonna go with the simplest method and just choose the gas that we want to expel because whenever we detect oxygen then we are going to open up the vent. If there are more than two gases in the pipes then it is better to do it with a knot gate and choose the element that you want to keep in the pipe. Okay, now that the cycle sensors are built, let's make sure that we are activating them only for a couple of percentages. Starting with the first one, I'm gonna do about 15% or so. I'm then gonna copy this over for the other sensors, but we are gonna switch the activation time. So starting with 15%, then 30% here, and then 45%. So now only ever one incubator is going to be active for a certain amount of time and then it is going to deactivate again. Maybe this time could even be shorter because we have always a rancher ready. Also by the way the carbon skimmer has now been installed and it seems to be functional. Yeah we are now actually getting rid of the carbon dioxide that is accumulating here. There's still a lot of carbon dioxide around isn't there? Yeah. So we kind of have to make sure this can flow down properly. Maybe let's go ahead and open this up here. Yeah, let's do that right now. My farms are now also looking a little bit fuller. It does take a while to get all the seeds. You just have to wait for them to grow and be lucky enough for the seeds to drop. Together with my three hatch farms, the two Sweetle farms here and the grub grubs I'm getting, also the muck root and everything. No, not the muck root anymore. I mean the mush bars here, of course. And then of course also the egg cracker and very soon we'll be able to take advantage of the fish tank as well. I already have my first eggs in the joint. 
And it's just a matter of time until this gets productive too. And I think after that, we shouldn't have any more issues with starvation. But you know, as long as I see so many cooks actually going for it at the same time, I do not worry too much. 11 Builder, in the meantime, is enjoying his meal on the second planetoid. Luckily, there's also some oxalite around for fresh oxygen. I think I'm also gonna set up a little pump here that I will be able to steer with a signal switch so we can get some more of the hydrogen into the system. And I'm actually gonna introduce it right here below the filter. So in case I pick up anything else, I'm gonna get rid of it immediately. And now we need to power it up. That should be easily done with this wire here. Just need to reconnect it. Also, now that we have our oxygen system going, I think what I want to do is connect this over here. Now, at the moment, I still have this oxygen diffuser taking care of this environment, so we could theoretically just get rid of this. Yeah, I think that is actually a good idea. We're just going to get rid of all of this uh, pipage, and we're going to get rid of the pump here as well. We're going to get rid of the cabling, which will not be necessary anymore. Hmm, maybe I'm just going to keep it in place in case I want to power up anything. But yeah, we can uh, pretty much go ahead and do this differently right now we are gonna lose the buff either way and then we have to wait for another 25 dream journals to be accumulated before it continues in the background i also made sure to activate the teleporters and i already hooked up this guy here with a cable the conveyor loader allowed manual use and set up some coal for it that is the first material that i probably want to send over now who is suffocating 64 looks like they don't have to travel far yet yeah, let's just just keep it going should we do something about the oxygen situation here i think so the problem is the layer of water that still resides here so theoretically what we should do is maybe set up some of these tiles um let's just do it here and then potentially we can just mop up the water the polluted water is gonna off gas again and then the deodorizers can do their thing and speaking of deodorizers let's set up another one over here and just hook it up to the same conductive wire. We're now also gaining more skill points again. I'm working towards exosuit training. I think that makes sense now for at least the ones that I reached the goals. Like there are no more cooking perks, so I wanna focus on speed. Even though maybe for the cooks, it isn't quite as relevant. Also, how did I not pick up these two mushrooms? I do need them. Who else is suffocating again? It's still uh, 64. Yeah, hmm. we kind of got to do this quick here. People are suffocating all the time. Either way, I want to continue taking apart the terrain as good as I can. On the second planetoid, I'm about to break through here. I kind of have to take care of my people that are suffocating right now. This is kind of troublesome. Let me see. There should theoretically be some pumpage here. Ah, I see. Okay, so I think what I could do is allow this to go all the way down and kind of provide oxygen towards the bottom as well. Or maybe just the bottom. That kind of makes sense. So this stuff can go all the way down and then people have a little bit more oxygen. And I'm also just gonna remove all this shebang. Why not? In the meantime, my hydrogen pump is going for it. And you can see that the hydrogen is being allowed through. And where is this going? Oh no. Okay, that, that makes sense. It kind of attempts to go in here. So the way we fix this is by setting up yet another bridge that only allows it to go straight up. Yes, of course, that makes much more sense. And now it is also going into the thingamabob and then over here to the hydrogen generators. Wonderful. And that means we can actually go ahead and use the metal refinery. We just need a coolant, which I would have liked to use some oil, but maybe we're just going to go with normal water. I mean, the way I plant this out right now is just to use the water right here and then allow it to cool down again. Eventually, it's going to accumulate here a little bit and then I could theoretically pump it up again. So yeah, we're just gonna have that right here and then we're gonna connect a pipe straight over we would have to continue the power wire a little bit but that is everything maybe set up a temperature sensor here as well so theoretically all i need is a little bit of water to get started with we could uh, use the polluted water that we're getting from here sure that isn't even the worst of ideas i'm gonna use that in order to get started Next dormancy is in 0.5 cycles. Are you kidding me? Okay, so then that's not a good plan. I guess we could go ahead and use the brine here at the bottom. This wouldn't even be that bad of a choice. And we just bring this all the way up here. And then we have to connect it to the input there. I'm also going to go ahead and hook this up to a switch. So I can decide when this actually is going to pump. Wait a second. Is there a dreamer without their pajamas yeah 56 dreamer doesn't have their pajamas anymore what's happening 
There are three pajamas. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. 56 dreamer. There you are. Yeah, no clothing. I just don't get it. You know, I still have a slight issue here with the oxygen. I think what I want to do is add another vent here near the dreamers. So let's say, hmm, can I not do that here? We could do it on this side. So I'm just going to add a vent here. And then all the oxygen that's coming through here is already going to be vented out. And therefore the dreamers will be able to sleep through. And that maybe already makes it better with being able to keep it up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna try to mop things up here. Improve the breathability for our duplicants. Yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. They can recover their breath now. Okay, this is starting to look better and better here in the basement, I have to say. And we also still have plenty of polluted water left. It does look though like I have to add more water to our main system right now. This has nothing to do with the spawn. This has solely to do with the amount of water I'm still requiring in order to cook stuff up. One way we could address that is by disabling this building. And I think I've done that previously, but yeah, I didn't use the right materials. We want to work with obsidian here and build a pitcher pump for this part because cooking we can do with hot water but we cannot actually feed the plants with the hot water so now we just move this operation over and then in due time we will be gaining more water back than we are using oh i didn't even check the lockers here maybe we'll find something interesting let's just inspect it and then rummage some at least a little bit of food or some piece of clothing might be in there for us i think i also have to hook up some more generators here yeah, this needs some support, so we're gonna add two coal generators together with the smart battery combo. Just get this wire here hooked up, and then it will be supported additionally to the hamster wheels we have going on. Okay, I've been speeding up the construction of the metal refinery construction, and as usual, I kind of regret it because all the duplicates came by. I also dedicated another duplicate to be a dreamer. Now we have seven dreamers, let's see if that is gonna be enough. Oh, looks like I totally forgot to change the priorities here. Oh, geez. Number 21, of course, should be doing absolutely nothing. That's right. You just go back and be happy, okay? Wonderful. The rock crusher has been moved as well. What do we want to do? Indefinite line, that is for sure. Looks like that's all we want to build on a regular basis. Now, let's also set up a recipe here. I want to get started with about 50 copper crafts. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to queue up 50 iron crafts. And maybe while we're at it, <laughs> we're just going to go all the way in with another 50 gold. After that, I'm going to attend to the steel, but first we need to initiate some refined carbon. And I figured maybe if we were a little bit more space efficient, we could have done it better. But for now, let me go ahead and exchange this with a couple of tiles. And we're just going to add our, where is it? I had one over here. Oh, I think I already removed it. But of course, what we needed was a kiln. Good, I'm going to get started by activating this pump. Let's just see what happens. We should be pumping up some of the brine and it is just going in here. That is going to be the first step. Now, how much more is this going to cool down? I don't think dramatically as it doesn't pass through a tile directly. Wait a second. Did we lose the duplicate? No, no, he's on the other planetoid. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. How far are we here anyway? I got a good portion of the liquid together working my way through to the teleporter and I found the other teleporter upstairs here. This one here is going to be the important one as we need to supply the energy for this. So maybe instead of a bunch of ladders, we're just going to go with normal tiling and then we can have one of our power setups here. Just need a coal generator and we can even do those with cobalt. That reminds me, is the teleporter ready? 74% recharged. I don't believe it. It just takes such a long time. The brine is now filling up the metal refinery. I'm probably going to stop it at some point. Good, I'm going to say this is enough for now some of it will actually be recovering since it is just gonna drop down here a little bit hotter than it is supposed to and then we can stop it using this mechanized airlock let's say we only want to open this up if we go below 10 degrees or so right now we are at minus 58 the brine is gonna come in hot and the door is gonna be closed and as soon as we go below the 10 degrees the door is gonna open and it can drop down here where it shouldn't heat up any further or cool down any further i should say we already have 30 operator going for the metal refinery task well they did not have enough oxygen here what are you gonna do 
We could set up a little oxygen mask station here, but I think that is too exaggerated. With all the work labor we have, there's going to be somebody ready to take over the metal refinery really shortly. Also, refined carbon, I'm just going to queue this up a little bit. Yeah, let's go with 50, let's go with 90 crafts. Oh no, 48 cook took over, despite the fact they have lower priority in operating the cooks. Wow, starvation. Ah, do we have a stuck duplicate? No, are you good? Still 878 kilocalories left, but I will keep you under observation. Okay, the moment of truth is upon us. We now have our brine coming down. And of course, right now it isn't too, too hot because it only went through the metal refinery once. But let's see what happens once we touch this liquid carbon dioxide. Ah, interesting. Look at that. Because we have some hydrogen here and carbon dioxide there, the liquid isn't going to continue. So we just have to have one layer of liquid before this works in a way that I want to. So let me think. We just have to this up. Ah, no, an easier way we can accomplish this is by building a tile and then removing it again in order to delete the carbon dioxide that's there. And we're already going for the second craft here. Now, what is happening? We should have enough power in order to sustain this. Ah, I see the problem. The problem was we went all the way down to zero and that is of course bad. We want to go down only to 20 or so in terms of battery capacity. Also, the kiln is now going for it, crafting some refined carbon that we then can use in order to get the first steel. Yay, look at all the food we got right now. 16,000 kilocalories before I had 19,000. That was uh, absolutely a record for this world. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, 22 Builder. And it is opening, right? Because we got the temperature. No, wait. Yes, it is minus 32. <laughs> but as long as we manage to make it drop down here and actually accumulate in liquid form, then I have accomplished my goal. Because that's the moment when we can actually push it back into the metal refinery. Now, let me do this with the sensor as well. I'm just going to take a hydro sensor for this and hook it up to the pump. This way, I will be able to make sure that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You shouldn't mop that up. Uh, wait. Uh, sweep and mop orders. I don't want that. But yeah, we want to have a certain amount of liquid down here in order for the pump to get going. And the reason I'm not using pipes in order to cool this down is because I cannot really regulate it at the moment. Right now here, I can say, yeah, don't make it too cold. Otherwise, it's just going to freeze over again. And we keep on crafting the metals now. Wow. A new era has begun. Maybe we should wrap things up by crafting one piece of steel, which we can do now. In reality, I'm gonna make 20 crafts or so, but we just need to make one in order to be confidently wrapping up the episode. Now, it will start to freeze over very soon. On the other side, we are getting some hot liquid back. Mm, actually, it's only at 2.2 degrees right now. Also, maybe let me increase that wall size here a little bit. The hydro sensor I'm gonna set to above, let's say, 100, 200 or so kilograms. I don't know yet. Right now, we are at 170, 180. There it is. The pump pumping back the brine into the refinery. So this is exactly doing what it is supposed to do. And it looks like we can now keep on crafting and just let this do its cycle thing and we will be getting more and more refined materials. Let's just wait for the steel to pop up here on the new resources list. I'm gonna activate this pump here for just a little while longer. So we have some extra coolant in here and I can keep my buffer of about 200 kilograms. Also, as you can see, we're now improving on our water storage once again, which is good. And it is still at a agreeable 25 degrees. That is because the polluted water down here at the moment is already down to 26 degrees where we are pumping it up. Good, looks like we're now working our way through the list and the pump is pumping while the metal refinery is half full. That is good. I don't want to see this waiting for coolant that much. So that means we maybe need to enable this pump here for one more cycle. Wonderful. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Now we are basically using the metal refinery non-stop. It would even be better to have two next to each other because at some point the duplicate needs to recover their breath. And of course it takes a while until the next duplicate comes by. Right now we only seem to be focusing on copper and gold. I wonder when we are starting to craft the iron and steel. Oh, there we go. It just happened. We got our first piece of steel. 
Ah, wonderful. It is buried here within the other objects, but there we go. We can now go full in with aqua tuners and stuff like that. So the only important ingredient for survival now is the plastic. And we'll be getting that from the second planetoid. We're making some progress here, collecting the water still. And then we'll be making this coal infrastructure, sending over some materials. It's still gonna take a while, but we do have this polluted water buffer that I can still utilize to keep things going inside the base. But with that out of the way, I'm gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.